Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the full moon that's going to be happening in June on the 14th. And this full moon, if you haven't seen my June predictions, then let me inform you. It is at the very last degree of Scorpio, 29 degrees of Scorpio, which is very, very powerful. And why do I say that? Because it is in the tail of the scorpion. And there's been so many things brewing, so many things coming up and down and unclear. One minute we're doing one thing, the next minute we're being shipped to look at something else. Everything is in flux and nothing is predictable. But now we're on the edge of something really, really changing. This full moon brings to light so much. One of the things I think that it's bringing to light is the fact that this full moon sits at the tail of the scorpion, which by the way is Gandanta. And I talk about Gandanta planets all the time. They are simply planets that are in the very last degrees of water in the very first degrees of fire but the last degrees of water are so much about emotion and the sense of drowning there's something where we can't get a hold of anything and this full moon brings it all to light what has been going on and particularly because we keep having these eclipses well you know, the lunar eclipse that happened in May was still in Scorpio. Even though the nodes are in a different sign, Rahu and Ketu are in Aries and Libra, but we still have that sun and moon in Scorpio Taurus. Very, very important. Scorpio Taurus, actually, these signs deal with money and finances all around. And look what's been going on. There's been massive spending and massive loss in the economy, but it is going to shift. So don't worry. It's not, it's not going to stay up or down, but we do have one more, I think, upward trend before we go into the final big downward trend. Okay. So I've been starting. I've been very clear as to month by month how this is evolving. And yes, it's, I think the first two weeks of July are going to be extraordinary. But, but, but towards mid to the end of July, big change happens again. But let me back up to where we are right now with this full moon. Now, because Gandanta means losing control, feeling out of touch, not feeling like you can hold on anymore. It's a tough position, Vendanta, huge. And it could even deal things with, with literally people drowning, floods, things going on with water problems. So that might mean weather and eruptions with maybe tsunamis. So things going on with water. But remember, as I mentioned before, the tail of the scorpion is poison. It's very poisonous. Now, maybe this could actually mean that they are using chemical warfare because this deals with poisons. But at the same time, I think there's been a drug warfare going on that nobody's, everybody has a blind eye to. Whereas all the drugs that are infiltrating into the United States are really paralyzing the country and no one is paying attention. And I've been talking about this for a long time. So there's so many instances where people and events and things are poisoned. There's drugs rampant to kill. And more people have been dying of this than even the virus today. Why are we not talking about this? So I'm thinking with Neptune being in the same sign with Jupiter, this is what this is about. And this brings it to 
a clear vision where we have to start noticing what's going on with this. This is very potent. And another thing is during this time of this full moon, we have Venus, Rahu and Uranus all together, very tight in Aries. And Uranus can sometimes represent aircraft, travel, space travel, and they are pretty much in the nakshatra barani which can mean major breakthroughs discoveries this can be in terms of travel but at the same time venus with rahu can mean extremes extreme problems in the sight of judgment so things are not as they appear and people are misreading what they should see clearly but now that mercury is no longer retrograde. It went direct on the 3rd of June, and now by mid-June, it's moving forward. You're going to see the economy improve vastly, vastly, and Mercury being in Taurus. Taurus is about food, diet, money, and the fact that it's moving forward, this means that products that we couldn't get before will come through, such as the formulas to feed babies such as the food all these things that have been very scarce are going to be coming through again which is a blessing so this is all good but i'll tell you something else that's just happening that causes some stalemates and problems in governments around the world is that during this time saturn is retrograde and this makes us go back and reassess what's been going on in government affairs because governments around the world have been getting away with so much corruption. And as Saturn drops back into the sign of Capricorn, then you're going to see where governments and spending will be made accountable. And this will take place pretty much from the end of July through the end of the year because Saturn will go back into Capricorn mid-July through till the first or second week of January in 2023. That's where everything is going to come together and there's going to be accountability for what has been ignored and what has not been made accountable, period. So you're going to see all these changes happening. And as, um, as Mars, once it goes into Aries, you're going to see faster movement of progress with things that have been held back for a long time. And there is a lot to come. So I will keep you in touch with the celestial weather forecast not only month by month, but pretty much almost week by week, because this is how rapid you're going to see changes in this summertime in the Northern Hemisphere. Things are going to really, really change. So keep focused and I'll keep you in the know. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me or if you would like to study with me, first check out my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And then remember, I'm so excited about starting this class because it's starting on a very special day, July 6th. This is going to be a stellar class with the University of Vedic Astrology. Learn how to do what I do and be able to predict your future so that you can have the clear guidance that you need in your life. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.